Welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a developing story within the Labour government as Prime Minister Sakir Starmer finds himself at the centre of a controversy involving his Chief of Staff, Sue Gray. The BBC recently revealed that Sue Gray received a substantial pay rise, bringing her salary to £170,000, a figure that has caught the attention of many. This new salary even surpasses that of Prime Minister Starmer, who is known for his significant role and responsibilities. This revelation has raised eyebrows and sparked discussions about the dynamics within the new government, with many questioning the justification behind such a pay increase. This comes just three months after Labour's general election victory, adding another layer of intrigue to the political landscape. I'm focused, and every day the message from me to the team is exactly the same. We have to deliver. We must stay committed to our goals and ensure that we are making tangible progress. It's not just about promises, it's about action and results. We were elected on a big mandate to deliver change. The people have placed their trust in us and we cannot let them down. Our mission is clear and we must work tirelessly to achieve it. Starmer's comments come as he attempts to assert his leadership and solidify his position within the party. His determination is evident as he navigates the complexities of political leadership amid growing tensions. Some sources have indicated that Gray was advised to consider a salary below the PMs to avoid potential backlash, but the decision was not straightforward but she ultimately chose to accept the higher figure. This move has sparked further debate and scrutiny, adding another layer to the ongoing political discourse. This situation highlights the complexities of government salaries. It's not just about numbers, it's about perceptions and relationships within the political landscape. In addition to the salary saga, Starmer defended his decision to accept corporate hospitality from Arsenal Football Club. He stated that security concerns for his traditional season ticket led him to this choice. There's something about an older woman in authority that some young men find hard to put up with. This is a deeply personal campaign against Sue Gray, who is an exceptional public servant. There's a civil service process in place for salaries. It's wrong to say there's any kind of political input. As the controversy unfolds, many in the government are rallying behind Gray, emphasizing the importance of her work. Despite the leaks and public scrutiny, support for her role within the administration remains strong. With internal conflicts and public expectations at play, the political landscape is more turbulent than ever. All eyes are on Starmer and his team as they navigate these challenging times. How they handle this controversy could define their leadership and the future direction of their party moving forward. We want to hear from you. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think Sue Gray deserves her salary? Or is this controversy a sign of deeper issues within the Labour government? Your opinion matters. Is this a symptom of a larger problem or just a bump in the road for Labour? Don't forget to like share and subscribe for more updates. Stay tuned for the latest in political news and analysis.